said, if you want to know the true story of the wreck of the old 97 at Danville, I'll bet you Tom Perry might be able to tell you. <laughs> so be sure to go see him. This is a sort of true story. Uh, see Tom for the details. Was the engineer named Sam Brody? Do I have his last name? Right? I always get it mixed up. Steve, it was Steve something. They gave him his orders. In Monroe, Virginia, said, Steve, you are way behind time. It's not 38, no, it's old 97. You gotta get her in the Spencer all the time. To his greasy fireman, little shovel on, little more coal. By the time we reach old White Oak Mountain, you'll see how this 97 rolls. It's a long, hard road from Lynchburg to Danville, and Lima's on a three-mile break. It was on that break where he lost his air brakes. Ought to see what a jump he made. He hit that curve. Going 90 miles an hour, his whistle started to scream. They found him dead with his hand on the throttle, scalded to death by the steam. Telegram come from Washington Station, and this is what it said. That brave engineer who pulled old 97, laying down in Danville dead. Listen now, ladies, please take warning from this day on and learn. Speak harsh words to your dear loving husband. He may leave and never return. <laughs> 